That's awesome. Alright. Welcome everyone, and we are playing... Boyfriend Second. Yeah. I hit clip. Yes, let's begin. Do you want me to wait for you? Why not, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? Not having contact with your mother due to their action is a personal choice. I think I buy it. And sometimes it's what we need. Corona Beach. Corona or Corona? Welcome to Verona Beach, cuz. It's me, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. It's been a long 10 years, huh? Like Your mom said you've grown up, but I had no idea. Oh, uh, you're so better. much taller. Sorry, I just remember you as a little kid. <laughs> Cousin problems. Right? I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or something. Back before California. Doesn't matter. Come on, I'll show you your room for the summer. Summer of total platonic friendly hangouts. Those are good too. I'm not a pickup artist, but pretty sure I can teach you something about people. As long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you've come to the right place. Verona Beach is 
the town for lovers, so it's best to keep your eyes and mind open. I won't guarantee you'll fall in love, but a date shouldn't be too hard to arrange. So what do you think your main problem in love is? Hmm. I did the top one. Yeah, um, possible though so that's the kind of thing a jerk would say, just so you know, the first step in love is finding someone similar. Uh-huh. So let's get you some confidants. There's a new fitness fad in Verona, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. You have to have an open mind, though. You ready? It's... Dungeon! <gasps> <laughs> uh, not sex dungeons. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you better rephrase your dungeons, dude! Though I guess there are some parallels. Never mind, don't think about that. <laughs> you know, dungeons from, like, video games or D&D, like that, but in real life, there's been more monster infestations lately, so people kill them for money. Great for building confidence and also getting a workout. Plus, wait, uh, hey, I wanted to ask you, can you turn into a weapon? Maybe? Nah. You? Nope, but maybe you can give it a go. Why do I have to turn into a weapon? Oh. Big in Verona Beach. Okay, I have a question. It's like totally uh, modern. What's with this monsters and dungeons in real life? I'm curious. Uh. thing is that you're stronger together so whenever you're ready get out there and go to the mall hmm. apparently something to do with common fears I don't really know ask Isaac oh his name is Isaac uh. I kind of find that name see ya uh run Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I can change my clothes. Ooh, look at that black dress. Nah, I'm good. I don't want to answer my phone. Oh no. Weapon people are. Yes, Jesse, now you have my number. Don't forget to meet Isaac at the mall. Also, I just saw on the news that there's a weapon thief out there. Weapon people are going missing. Stay safe. Uh huh. And I'm over here. People are going missing, and you're going to. Okay. This is a very strange Verona beach. That's for sure. Alright. Let's go find monsters. Let's see apartment. Okay. Well, why won't you move? Oh, that's why, because I'm dumb. You actually have to. 
Yeah, I'm totally happy. You the key. Be careful, it's dangerous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just ooh wooed. What the frick is wrong with me? Loading, loading. Dungeon fear. Yo, you want me to meet someone here without a weapon? Oh, weapon! Find a long, thin blade. The hilt fits nicely in your grip. <laughs> This, this is, man's voice vibrates from the metal and up through your hand. Who must be Jesse's friend? I, I'm Isaac. Indeed, though I don't require the sword, Appellate. Much as you likely are the woman. At least I'd hope you don't call me the man when I'm in my human form. <laughs> but I'm indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. Now, if you take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. A dunge Obviously. is a place you can confront your insecurities. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. Okay, if that's the case, I chose you do the mall because most people have fears that easily that manifest here. It depends on the person. Strangers, inadequacy, sterility, poverty. Everyone's afraid of something. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. This is already extremely sexual. <laughs> okay, there's dodge. Heavy attack, light attack. All right. Always listen to your cousin Jesse. Shut up, I'm busy. But you have strong potential. You're not bad either. <laughs> After 20 years of practice, I'd better have something to show for it. It's totally chop. Now let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first started going to the Dunes as a world, I fought a lot of trucks. Yes, truck strange as it is, I don't even hate trucks, and yet they manifest it. They, more monsters, pick up trucks, dump trucks, even cement grinders, just because I had some issue around masculinity and boyhood, probably from my father. Damn, 
eventually I worked through that and killed a boss monster truck it felt good. My point is that your phone monster could mean a few things. Maybe you hear a connection to other people in intimacy. Maybe you hear helplessness crawling like a worm the way it did. We'll figure it out the deeper we explore into the dungeon. We will probably die. As deep as you're insecurely so, in a way, it's up to you. We'll just go as deep as we can today, and if we get too tired and collapse, that's okay. We we'll still get to keep any treasure we find. To avoid fainting, look for beverages, tea, coffee, that sort of thing. Keep your spirits up. You can hold up to three at a time and use them when you need. One last observation, you can use the power of oops. Button. Okay, so I guess that would be Z. Nope, Q. Right. Alright, so be brave and let's fight. Alright, well, I need to heal. I need to walk over here. And. Money! I'm not going out that way yet. All right. Ooh, what? It looks like boba. Hold on. All that could have gone much worse. Obviously, it could have gone much worse. Okay, it's gonna take a bit to learn the controls, but I went through all my drinks and now I am slowly dying. Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> I am. Yep. Now I have the new sword. I'm walking into sword. There we go. Sword said not for you. Hilt is cool, almost cold to the touch, but it quickly warms under my hand. The blade begins to transform. Whoa! Well, hello, you two. Name's Sunder. Your name is not Sunder, your name is Chuck. Isaac Brooks, pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wheel. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. How do you not know how you Last got here? Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak, chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me, whoever they are. Honey, by where I am at, you do not look chipped. But my luck is turning around because Hello. here you are. I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dungeon. Yeah, you. 
I'm not talking to the monsters, that's for sure. There were other options. Oh, if you're into it. Maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? <laughs> okay, guys, what should I do? Are you more sword or man? Don't hold your breath or sure. I I'm more the second one, but I'm curious. I'm both. Don't tell me you're huh? obsessed with Bonnie binaries. Turns out there's very few mutual exclusivities out there in the world. If we fight together, I'll protect you. All in, no matter the shape of this body. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. <laughs> I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? <laughs> how do I do a screenshot? Because that that is just... I need that to be my background. Honey, how do you screenshot? I now need a new background for, my, for the computer. <laughs> I forgot. A little, but my pride more than anything. I'm sure Isaac can explain. I didn't... Okay, he asked a question, I didn't pay attention to the answers, and I just hit E. <laughs> I think I heard him. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. Here's my number. He's a nice looking play, but I'll text that you. human form is one of something else. I'll text you, you don't have my phone number, bitch. The damaged flight softens the other way, seeming almost damaged. Hmm. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here? Weapon forms heal quickly, as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies. Still, this is serious. I'll report Obviously. our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. His Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dunge. I have a problem. Hun, are you sure I'm allowed to play this game? I'm <laughs> <laughs> I died! That's totally my fault! <laughs> It just suddenly started, and I'm busy talking to you, and I insta die. Yes, go home. Take him home without hitting the button. Jesse says the weirdest part is that it really does look like him, except for the character in the game is not assisted. Oh, yeah. And that concludes our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? Not a problem at all. Truly, enchanté. It was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. But I must get back to work. If I may say, your fencing style is rough, but has unusual potential. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. I was outnumbered. So feel How free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Until next time then. I should not be allowed to fucking play this game. Ugh.
excuse me. Oh no. Why not? I met the sword man. <laughs> Hey, cuz! I heard you, uh, picked up Isaac. And he says you're a natural. He's one of the best dudes I know for sure. Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. That's what Eric Solomon profile says. I haven't seen him in person for years and years. He might be the only guy in town who knows more about swords than I think that I got his Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. He's free for copy for our Uh-huh. Welcome to Kicks. Hmm. Hey, you're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. And I was expecting someone not so good looking. Now tell me everything you know about swords. Do you prefer one or two handed? One-handed all the way, baby. I sometimes like the speed of one-handed <laughs> weapons, but it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. <laughs> Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type, so I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. I could give 
discount to a fellow enthusiast who'd give my voice to Hmm. You seem like the kind of woman who appreciates my craftsmanship. As a smith, I have an eye for it too. I take raw, dirty hunks of metal with finesse and strength to turn them into art. I love, like, metal working and stuff. It's amazing. Or glass. Art. That's gorgeous. Maybe someday I'll make something beautiful on that wheel. Don't promise me. Don't promise me nothing, baby! <laughs> Charming, like sweet women and anybody off of their I get kind of playboy, like total player vibes from it. Just, just a little. Auto save. I love that. I've got. Email, emails, text. I am available to um, provide equipment at my office, books, books, associates, if you wish. Okay. I'll do the heart eyes because the other one was kind of crap. Literally. I want to date weapons. What about Isaac? What about Eric? Okay, cousin, why are you- I'm not even gonna ask anymore. Mm. I really like that black dress, though. Mm. Oop, wrong button. I need some. Okay, that is it. Let's take a look over here. Okay, that is equipped. Can my phone stop looking like it's going off? Nope. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. You have a club, of course, the freaking guy with the rose and chipped freaking sword tip has a goddamn club. I am not surprised. Sinner. Is this war? <laughs> it's totally war. Hmm? Hmm. 
Yeah, Mom, sure, I'll be good. My cousin's over here starting shit because you said something. Now I want to throw you both away. Babe, are you having issues over there? I don't know how far you are into dating both of you. Uh, 
there was freaking a cloud going along the bottom of the screen, and my mind is like, my laptop's on fire! <laughs> Game. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks. We just restocked our Spadroon supply. Let me give you a tour. change into a weapon are better than the people that can. My opinion, screw you, I now hate you. You're cute, but I now hate enough of anything. I hate you. Absolutely. Yeah. 
and I just came back from Eric, and now I want to fucking kill him. What do you think about Thunder? Did you talk to his assistant? Um, not his assistant. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, not, suddenly I am wary of Eric and, uh, I... I was wary of Eric from the first second I saw him, Sunder, on the other hand, not really, but Eric just made it where I want to straight up kill him. Because he's a total judgmental prick. Yeah. So I am not doing anything with that bitch. I need to finish my drink. Um, I haven't gone to Isaac yet. I am going there now. Damn it, I'm sc scratching the crap out of myself. Well, hello. Ugh. <sighs> 
crap. How is Cobra wrestling and wreck diving any less dangerous than fighting monsters? I'm gonna punch her mom. Oh shit, I tore the crap out of my thumb because it itches so much. Uh-huh, go away, Mom. Lose his phone number, fucking bitch. Which one? <sighs> fucking Eric. <laughs> I was feeling extra sharp today. Picks or it didn't happen. Oh, I accidentally hit A plus. My bad. I, I told him it was okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit A plus though. That was an accident. Can I just lose Mr. Fucking, um... No, Eric's number. <clears throat> All right. Um, this is going to be it for tonight, guys. And I'm sorry for the crappy face video um yeah i guess that's what happens when you get to charge your light but i'll see you next time and hopefully there's a part two to this 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 is a fun game i'll see you guys later don't forget to like and subscribe bye